next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Do you have any like things outside of the music you want to get into too? Um, I got this cologne and perfume business I'm starting right now. Man, y'all got y'all got to push this. I ain't gonna lie, cologne perfume, man. This is your First, clip right here. Look, yeah, most definitely. Right look at <laughs> black owned, and I'm not just saying black owned to be one of the people. Black owned people, like you know what I'm saying? Them aggravating people. I won't <laughs> be that. I just want y'all to support. This shit is good for real. Some metal, turn me up. But I'm gonna do some houses and shit like you know, 18 Willis. Right. Yeah, Still somehow you end up selling houses too. I know, <laughs> not because I, I always wanted to design some fly shit mm -hmm. like. So I just about to use my mind to, to I might have really start designing my shit from ground up instead of buying properties. Like the cri like cribs. Yeah. yeah. Like Drake did. He, he what he did. Oh you you haven't seen his compound? Oh yeah, I seen that shit. Yeah. But I'm not talking about like that. I'm saying like for sale. Like, oh, okay, like you I want it to be my house. idea from top to bottom and whoever loved my idea, you buy the house. Like mm. instead of just keep buying rental properties, you're like, all right, just fix that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Have you noticed how, like, this whole interview you're just talking about how, like, everything just comes full circle, like, from the Herbo shit to, like, the Dirk shit? To, yeah, like, that's how, that's to, like, how my life been houses. lately, bro. I swear to God. Listen, I had a dream. I had a dream that, um, I remember in high school I had this dream. I was a big Future fan, bro. Mm -hmm. I had a dream. I walked in the dressing room, and Future was in there, slight like that, just some small ass shit. And then I was on a tour of Future, like, like that, I ain't gonna lie, my life been coming full circle. That shit crazy. Did, does Future call you for that, or like, how does that, how does that happen? Yeah, yeah, he wanted me on that. It's kind of. Do you feel like, I don't know. At some point, do you feel like that dream happened in real life too? Like you just walked in there. Oh no, that dream happened in real life already. Okay, like, but 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 not how not how exactly how it happened because right, I yeah. remember the shit. Yeah. I had one dream happen in real life. I was in high school playing basketball before I even thought about making music. Right, mm. crazy as shit. I, I I had a dream that I was performing from a big ass crowd of people and I was rapping this song and I woke up, I was like, man, how the fuck I came up with that shit? That shit was hard as fuck. I remember the song, but I don't remember the song, but I remember it was hard as fuck. I'm like, man, I came up with that shit, man. Yeah, and then I had a dream. I, I had that dream and then like a couple years later, I started doing like big crazy shows. I'm like, damn. Like one of these was that dream. Like, mm. that shit crazy. One of those was that song. One of those was that song had to be, mm. unless I'm gonna get bigger than that. Like and you are gonna get bigger than that. I'm saying like like crazy unless it's that, and I'm like, damn, how the fuck I came up with the Beyonce, I miss you. Like how I came up with that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you? Who's like one person? Like I feel like you've crossed a lot of people off the bucket list already, though. Like that you wanted to work. Or who's one person that you haven't gotten to do something with that you kind of hope by? You know, maybe part three, you got to throw them on there. Probably like, probably like the weekend. Mm. Yeah, the weekend. Frank Ocean. Them two for real. I don't really, really care about too many people like that. Yeah, you want some like something different. Yeah, I want something different. I don't really care about no rappers in there. Frank Ocean's a good one. Yeah. Frank, please. Man, Frank. I, ain't, I ain't never get that shit. Man, that's like <laughs> fuck it. I ain't gonna meet this nigga. Hey, look, you never say never, bro. I feel like a lot of artists be like they not gonna do shit, and then you know somehow I know it's like a different analogy, but then like J Cole goes on like a feature run with like a mil with like a bunch of people. You never I'm gonna know. tell you, bro. This like <clears throat> I feel like if I was like, in the studio frame, bro, I wouldn't even want to know what the fuck to say in that motherfucker. You put a mic in my phone, I probably wouldn't even know what to say. Like, if you were talking to Frank or you in the studio? I'm saying, Frank? like, if we making a song, like, okay. I don't feel like nothing I have in my brain is good enough to put on this track. <laughs> like, you might got to do my verse for me. That's how, that's how amazed I'd be at that shit. Just, like, being in the studio with him. Yeah, that shit great. Yeah, I think of, like, Frank's career, and it's crazy how, like, he's done a lot, but also not a lot, and how influential he's been. 